The season of light is here. All you have to do is take a walk in Diker Heights. I love the old style, the plastic ones with the lights in them. They're, they're great. Go for a spin around the Brooklyn neighborhood that is known for its famous displays. Although that word doesn't really capture the grandeur. The streets east of the Gowanus to about 13th Avenue put on a show. Cue the carousels. These are amazing. I've seen these on Instagram. So I'm like, I have to get out and see this. We're from Jersey. So this is our first time. No, not too early. Definitely not too early. Never too early? No. Nope. Diker Heights homeowners usually begin the weekend after Thanksgiving. John Hatz and crew with his home improvement company are working on the finishing touches. Anything new this uh, year? More lights. Every year, more lights. Lights up in One, Coney two, Island, too. The These lights say more than welcome to Mermaid Avenue. They're brightening up this street for the first time in at least 20 years, from Stillwell to West 33rd. They look happy. Many reasons to celebrate. The lights of the stores in the area are on. Some have been struggling since Superstorm Sandy. Magna Perez is a business owner along Mermaid Avenue. And it's really beautiful because it brings more people out. It puts people in a Christmas spirit, and it looks beautiful down yeah, there. It adds to the it adds to the street, which yes. I can remember when it was underwater here and mm -hmm. there. And you know, you had uh, yes. you had, had to had come back flood. from yeah, that. Yeah, I had a big flood. Um, I had to rebuild twice. The Alliance for Coney Island got some donations together uh, to put that on there in Coney Island. Meanwhile, here in Diker Heights, more and more houses uh, will come online. For 18 years, the Tellus family tells me they've been putting up their display here on 82nd Street. It's really this area between uh, 11th and 13th Avenues in the 80s that really gets busy over the next month.